Hello, everyone. Uh, first, I want to do is thank you all so much for coming out today and helping me share my vision with you. I'm working on my shared vision, the journey to understanding and learning organizations. And the first thing I want to do is turn it back to you. Think about something. <laughs> When we first get here to Antioch, we have to think about who we are and where we came from. And I want you to take a second. If you had to choose one word, just one word, who are you? Now think of that. This is my answer. <laughs> All I know how to do is to point my toes and leap. I, oh, Zach, I'm a dancer. That's who I am. What I do. Okay. So, <laughs> that's me, with a lot more hair and a little bit thinner. <laughs> My background, um, interior design, ballroom dancing, performing arts for most of my life. And didn't realize that most of it had to do with being part of a community and with other people. Um, but um, I have danced in theater productions, I have done uh, competitive ballroom dancing, I've done a lot of choreography, and that's what's led me here. And you're sitting there thinking, what does this have to do with an MBA in sustainability? Well, I'm going to tell you. We've heard this a few times already today, triple bottom line, people, planet, and profit. Now, my main focus was in my practicum was to understand more about the people aspect. Um, I didn't quite know that at first. Um, at starting off, my struggle was trying to figure out what I wanted to do and where I wanted to go with this, because even though I had that dance background and all that, it didn't come to me very obviously. What I did was transition into learning about a learning organization. This happened because I had <laughs> a conversation and Selena said to me, what about systems thinking? You were really interested in that systems thinking thing in that intro to sustainability class. So I thought about it and then we brought, came up with the idea of learning organizations. What's really great about learning organizations, learning organizations are organizations where people continually expand their capacity to create the results they truly desire, where new and expansive patterns of thinking are nurtured, where collective aspiration is set free, and where people are continually learning to see the whole together. That just is so inspiring. So I just had to continue with that. So the first thing, learning organizations, fifth discipline, there are five disciplines. Personal mastery. Personal mastery is a discipline of continually clarifying and deepening our personal vision, of focusing our energies, of developing patience, and of, and of seeing reality objectively. The second one is mental models which are uh, deeply ingrained assumptions, generalizations, or even pictures of images that influence uh, how we understand the world and how we take action. The next one is shared vision. Building shared vision is a practice of unearthing shared pictures of, of the future that foster genuine commitment and enrollment rather than compliance. I think we've all been there. Team learning starts with dialogue. The capacity of members of a team to suspend assumptions and enter into genuine thinking together. And systems thinking. Systems thinking is a framework for seeing interact, interrelationships that underlie complex situations and interactions rather than simplistic linear cause and effect chains. Again, here we go. Fifth discipline, ballroom dancing. What, is they, what do they have to do with each other? After doing this deep dive into the fifth discipline, I realized I worked for a company that lived a learning organization concept. I worked for Arthur Murray International a few years back before I started here, hence the picture. That was a competition. And um, every single one of these disciplines, I could really focus on what uh, the company, Arthur Murray specifically, but other ballroom companies do this too. They take, I was able to take each of those disciplines and describe how in the system of a ballroom dance studio, specifically Arthur Murray, and how they 
we're able to utilize those things to truly develop a learning organization. And what I want to do today is focus on one specific one, which is shared vision. And shared vision, again, is the practice of unearthing shared pictures of the future that foster genuine commitment and enrollment rather than compliance. What I'm going to show you is a video of dance teachers. These teachers are at an event called TOC, Turn Tournament of Champions. We were so honored and privileged to go eat twice a year to a, um, a conference. It's a three-day event. And what we did was we had the ability, uh, the opportunity to take dance classes. Now, mind you, these, my, the way I started at Arthur Murray is I went in for a dance lesson, paid $10. They said, I can offer you a program or I can offer you a job. Offer you a job? So I'm like, free dance lessons. I'll learn how to dance and get all fancy, fancy, and be like, oh, pretty, why not? So what I did was I started taking these dance lessons and realizing there's so much more to it. And I couldn't be a good, my job, even though I wanted to be a good dancer, my job was to be a good teacher. And it took me a while to figure that out because my boss kept on telling me, even though I, yeah. So anyway, so going to these Tournament of Champions events is you really learn how other people are teaching how other people are dancing, and you really get to also develop a community. And in that process, um, we take these uh, situations where you're doing the, um, the learning and you're doing the group classes and you're with someone who is brand new and you're with these gods of dance who have been competing in Europe and China and all these other countries and you see that right in front of you and you're amazed by it and you learn so much by being around it because everybody is welcoming. But there's a specific time where um, students have, uh, the teachers will pull together some great opportunities and this is one of them. Hopefully you can see this. All of these uh, people on the dance floor are dance instructors. Um, they're probably, um, Arthur Murray teaches on a, um, a metal system, bronze, silver, and gold. Um, these dancers are probably a bronze level um, and bronze level teachers. Everybody in the audience are also dance instructors or dance uh, studio owners. So what they did was all of these people dancing got together after work, uh, before work, and they developed this routine together. So they're all sitting there getting together and doing it. They're living it. You're enjoying it. I can see it. You're living it. So they had the same uniforms, the same outfits. They coordinated it. Do we want to go over here? Do we want to change it and go over there? And then they get together. Pretty soon they're going to get together. And you see there's a lot of personality there. <laughs> they're living it. And everybody in the audience is supporting them, really helping them. And it doesn't matter if they screw up, as it doesn't matter if we screw up today, because we're here for each other. So they're all sharing a vision and having a great time. All of them are living it. Like I said, it doesn't matter if they get the steps right, if they don't get the steps right, it doesn't matter. They're having a good time. They developed the steps together and moved on. So now what? What are we going to do with this information? Um, one of the things that I would love to be able to do, now mind you, I did that kind of explanation and understanding with each of the, the, the disciplines. So each one of those, uh, the systems thinking, mental models, um, came up with some concepts and how that relates to this discipline and MBA. Um, but what I would love to be able to do with this is because I got so much out of Arthur Murray, ballroom dancing, studios. Um, I also had the opportunity to um, work at, um, had the opportunity to attend uh, Barbizon Modeling Agency. And when I went to Barbizon, I was trying to become a model. Didn't work, <laughs> just because I'm here in front of you. But um, they said I'll look better when I'm older, and I'm at that point where I'm looking, I'm at the older point. So hopefully it's true. Anyway. Um, during that time, even though I was there to become a model, and I did do some modeling, but there were also people that were professionals who needed a little bit of refinement. They wanted to move up from middle management to executive level management, and they learned how to groom their nails or do their eyebrows, uh, tie a tie in different shades and time patterns and all that stuff, and how to present themselves. I mean, they, they might walk in, and they're all like, kind of nervous, and they learn how to walk and how to talk and present themselves to people. And I thought that that was great on some level, but it isn't deep enough. 
Um, so what I wanted to do was figure out how can we take what I was so fortunate in understanding, um, just didn't know how to put the words to it, how what I learned from dance and the community at the dance studio was able to provide me with executive skills. So what I'd like to be able to do with my knowledge is to find a way of, uh, of developing a platform so that um, middle management executives who want to understand how systems thinking works and developing a shared vision and team learning and mental models and understanding all that and how they can take that information and pull it back around um, and use it. And this could be the platform to do that for some people. So that's kind of what I wanted to do with it. So at the end of this all, what I would also hope is that for you, that one word that you thought of in the beginning of all of this, that says who you are, because you can see my passion, I hope, that I do feel I am. I'm, I'm a dancer. I am a dancer. I go to Walmart, Han Hanover, it doesn't matter, I'm, I'm a dancer. So at the end of the day, I hope you too find that moment, that one word, and you live it. To sit it out or dance. Thank you. Thank you.